If I'm being honest with myself, the one thing that was truly missing from Solo is porgs. There's beer in this porg. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am reacting to Solo, a Star Wars story. Again, I waited a little longer to put this video out because I wanted to give you guys more time to see it. This is going to be a very spoilery reaction. So if you haven't seen the movie yet, I mean, if we're being honest, you already know a lot of the stuff that's gonna happen in it, but there's one big ass surprise, so I don't wanna spoil that for you. Watch the movie and then come see me, cool? As usual, my handy dandy notebook has come through. These are my thoughts feelings, hopes, and dreams about Solo, a Star Wars story, and I'm just gonna get right into the business. Honestly, out of all of the new Star Wars movies that have come out, I was the least excited for Solo, just because Han Solo is not my favorite character in the Star Wars universe. I mean, he's fine. I'm more in it for Leia. When I was a kid, I had the crush on Luke, not on Han. If we're talking Harrison Ford roles, like, Indiana Jones is the one. So Han is fine, but as far as like him having a standalone movie and me being like really excited about it, I was just meh. I was more in it for Chewbacca and to see Lando. But the fact that they're doing these standalone movies makes me really excited for what's to come. In particular, the Obi-Wan Kenobi movie. Han shot first. He did it! I actually thought the actor that played Han did a fantastic job. He doesn't necessarily look a whole lot like him, but he had the attitude and the swagger down. Like, I believed he was young Han Solo. I bought into that fully. Look how clean the Falcon is! I just spit like 10 feet when I said that. My biggest beef with this movie is that I had a hard time connecting with the newer characters. We all know that Han and Chewie and Lando are gonna be a part of that and that's very exciting. But for me, it's also exciting to get this brand new cast of Star Wars characters, especially new females in the Star Wars universe. I feel like the new characters weren't necessarily developed enough for me to care about them. And I love the theater thinking like, man, and this is a weird thing to admit, but this is the first Star Wars movie I've seen in a while that hasn't made me cry. And I cry because I'm emotionally invested. The movie gets me emotionally invested in what happens to these characters. And I just didn't really care in this one. I mean, we know Han, Chewie, and Lando are going to survive. And everybody else, like, meh. I just wanted more character development. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. I did love L3's sassy ass though. She was like, built for a droid. Frankly, I'm kind of pissed I don't have my own cape closet. Life goals. Not if you round down. How many times do I have to watch Vision die this summer? For real? Also, don't come for me. Infinity War's been out for a long time at this point. And Vision's made of an infinity stone. So don't yell at me for spoiling shit for you. Kira's character was okay. Knowing the future that Han has with Leia, you kind of already knew to not get that invested in Kira. So I was, again, meh. I was just kind of meh about a lot of people. But you know who I did want more of? I wanted more of Val and I wanted more of, I'm um, picking my nose during the video. And I wanted more of the pilot. I don't have his name with me currently. The pilot that also dies working the job that Val dies. I them a lot. I would have loved getting to know them better. 190 years old? You look great. I swear to God, Star Wars, if you ever kill Chewbacca, I will never forgive you. Killing everybody else. Don't you kill Chewie. I fully thought that L3 was kidding when she was talking to Kira about Lando having a thing for her, and then she died? And y'all, was he doing it to that robot? I mean, like I said, she's, she's built. <sighs> Oh, droid sex. I've got a really good feeling about this. <laughs> Never happened again in the Star Wars universe. The other reason I wasn't like the most excited for this movie is that I really love the recent trend of the Star Wars movies coming out in December. I love a little like Christmas magic mixed in with my Star Wars and so I mean, we just got Last Jedi not that long ago, and I feel like more time needs to pass. I think they should stick to the December release dates, and they should only be releasing one movie a year. I think that maybe Disney is seeing how well this formula is doing for the Marvel movies, but it's just not translating with the Star Wars movies, so it's gonna get oversaturated. We're gonna get sick of it. Um, they keep 
announcing these standalone movies that I'm very excited for. I am so jacked for the Obi-Wan movie. Um, I think the Boba Fett movie has the potential to be very good. I just think they need to learn from some of the mistakes they made with Solo and move forward with that. Maybe take a little more risks, have a little more character development. No, nobody hates Star Wars more than Star Wars fans. I hear that all the time and I didn't hate this movie. I enjoyed this movie. It just wasn't my favorite and I think part of that is the over saturation I didn't have enough time to get over Last Jedi because I'm dramatic like that before Solo started so I think had it come out in December I'd be like way more hyped for it but as it stands I was just like you know yeah, we'll see it you guys know I get my tickets early I take the day off I make it a whole thing I go buy myself a Star Wars present that day and I put on my Wookiee onesie and I go see the movie this was just very like unceremonious and weird for me seeing a Star Wars movie so that was a very long long-winded way of me saying I just I want them to go back to the December release dates and I only want them to release one a year. I'm so grateful we live in a world where we keep getting Star Wars movies. I just don't want to ever feel tired of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and finally! <laughs> What? 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 This was the only time in the movie I got like jump out of my seat excited. This character did not get enough to do in the Star Wars cinematic universe. I'm so happy to have him back. I'm thinking right now he probably won't get a standalone movie. Now that I know that the actors for Solo are signed on for three movies, I'm assuming this storyline with Maul is going to carry out. I'd also love to see him show up in the Obi-Wan Kenobi movie. I just think, like, don't give him his own movie. Just let him be a freaking badass in everybody else's. Whew, I just got real excited. Darth Maul, bitches! On that happy high note, I'm going to end the video here. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of Solo. Did you love it? Did you hate it? I've talked to people who felt all types of ways about it. But with that being said, I am off. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Hit subscribe if you'd like to keep hanging out. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you in another video. Bye!